this is one of you want to understand that you are now apprised of the details of the six white horror house? Or how? Yes, we found we found about all six. Now we like now we like to investigate. We will need to access to the house to be to do that, of course. Will that be will that be all right? Leave no stone unturned. It is as Miss Twice sincere as hope that we were able to explain these happenings. Va bene. Let's tackle these tales one by one and see if you can explain what's been going on. You seem suddenly more updated, Emiliano. I think it's highly likely that these ghosts are nothing more than people who are playing tricks on you. I'm sure that once we investigate the supernatural phenomena, will turn out to be simple illusions. On the other hand, we may prove that they are real. No! Miss Layton, I think it's time you stop teasing Miss Perfetti. And we started our investigation, don't you? Yes, you're right. Let's begin with the first tale we heard, shall we? The Ghost in the Garden. Wooster said we, he saw a number of ghosts in the grounds of the house, didn't he? Hmm. I wonder where in the garden they would have been. Do we need to go? No, apparently we're in the garden. Let's talk to him. Um, according to my notes, the spider has been a story to this kind of scary case. Ah! So that's why he suddenly said he had a different case of attend to. Got it. Oh! Did, did you see that? That that weird light floating up in the sky? Yes! Perhaps one of the ghosts! I see you found evidence. Wow! It's not the Waster, Emiliana, it's Wooster! Oh, oh, you, you appear out of nowhere, so I, I thought... Despicable of me to have startled you in that way, man. I beg your pardon. It was exactly like this. The ghosts gathering by night. Oh! Are they all gonna be puzzles? Posing poltergeist. A big group of ghosts have appeared. They will run away if they are hit by a flash of light that is the same color as them. Okay. The flash can only reach ghosts in the front row, but the ghosts behind, behind come forward to fill in the gaps. Each color of flashes has a limited number of uses. Eliminate all the ghosts using the number of flashes you have at your disposal. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I think I understand how this is how this is gonna work. Like, if I do this, yeah. Then these two come forward. I do this. Then I do this. 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 And I messed up because yeah, no, no. but yeah, I think I got the general idea. See you guys in a few while I try to figure this out. Just that. Honestly, it's a pretty simple puzzle. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. Honestly, I think the biggest clue is the fact that the red flash is 3 instead of 2. So it means they need to use it maybe more or consec- For example, I just use it consecutively, but probably there are other ways to solve the puzzle, I hope. You did it! The ghost has disappeared and pieces restored. It's a little bit quiet with all these little fellas around, though. Yeah, you never know what you have until you lose it or miss it or something like that. A most... Meritro's performance, man. Now, if you'll excuse me. I love how his way of going away is just say, slow fade out. What on earth did he show up for, up for like that? Hmm. What's on the floor over there? Ernest, pick it up, would you? Yes, miss. Are, are you sure it's not dangerous? Or cursed? It's a balloon, I think. So it is! A deflated balloon! 
Do you think that ghost we saw before could have been? Certainly on a dark night, balloons bobbing around in the air could look rather ghostly. Are you suggesting that ghosts in the garden were nothing more than a bunch of balloons? <laughs> you feel like this mystery is starting to unravel. Let's see what we can find out about this wraith at the window next. You know, I'm starting to figure out that maybe these mysteries aren't actually like saying she being haunted, Lisa being haunted, I mean. But maybe just a way for her to see if someone is actually smart enough to help her solve puzzles. Or just her way of passing time, because again, he said she kept most, staying most of the time inside and she's good at crafting stuff. Maybe that's it. There are so many windows visible from here. I wonder which one the ghost the figure appear at. Ghost in the garden. Yeah, we're gonna solve. Yeah, this is like interesting. Okay, let's just check. The balloon we found near Wooster said he saw the ghost in the garden could be significant, wouldn't it? It's possible the ghosts were in fact simply a bunch of balloons. I wanna say it's probably this one over here, because. Oh, there's not a balloon. Well, maybe this one here all the way up here. Or not. Wait, I saw... Oh! Nix, please don't! Oh, there it is! Did you see that, Emiliana? A ghost of the figure disappeared! There is no need to sound like quite so happy about it, Catriel. Well, it's not every day you see a ghost, is it? We are very lucky. Nix, please! I'd rather win the lottery, personally. I mean, she's not wrong, I love to win the lottery too. Good evening, man. Another sighting, I believe? Booster. Oh, you startled me again. The apparition just observed is none other than the apt name Wraith at the Window. Just a second, guys. Nix, if, you, if you're gonna keep going like this, I'm sorry, but you need to go to the bed. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I had to take Nix out. I know she's adorable and I love it when she lays on here on the table, but if she keeps moving rustling, it's gonna mess all the equipment. You know, the day I do start streaming who, because who knows when that's gonna happen. And she's back. I can already tell Nyx is gonna be like oh so marvelous. Yeah, probably people are just gonna come to see Nyx, isn't aren't they? The form is a silhou silhouette, at least. It's quite removed from that out of the ordinary mortal, indeed, as it's in this as in this puzzle. Nix, please! Oh, now she's on my lap. Come on, baby, you can do it. City silhouette. Well, so much for that. Apparently she went to my lap to go down instead of going a more con an easier way out. There is a silhouette of something behind the curt. It's made up of three statues, but which ones? Look at the five statues and select which three are the ones behind the curtain. The statues cannot be taken apart and must be used in, in their entirety. No, none of them have anything extra on their rear side. Oh, okay, so for example, we could do this, this, wait. It's not right. Um. Yeah, because for example, it could be this one, this one, and it would have to be one of these ones, because. But there is two of them going up. Mm. Give me a second while I try to figure this out, guys. Much, much, much later. I think I just figured out. Because the way the weird thing was that one of them had the uh, had for example, look here. You can't see, but imagine that point. The one with the little flame on the top has two wings on the side, but none of them here have wings on their side except for the one there. The the A one. 
But A, D, and E, all of them have these wings going downwards. So I'm thinking, what if A and D got turned upside down and C kept normal? No, 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 no. Maybe E, D, and A? No, E, D, and... No, no, it won't work because... Hmm. Tell you what, I already messed up my perfect streak. Again, I'm very pissed about that. So let's try my first option. A, C, and I D, believe. But maybe you can do this by... Because hmm. you can also... Take... Will be simplicity itself. That was just a simple piece of profiling work. Oh, I got it right. Ah, uh, so that's how it is. Yeah, because I thought you could... T but it, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Because I thought something felt weird, but no, it might make sense. Because you can turn them around and upside down. It never said you couldn't, but it also didn't say you could, so... You did it, the silhouette was a combination of statues. A, C, and D lined up, up to appear as one. A needed to be turned around so that a left and right switch over. And D needed to be both... Ah, Nix, why? And both, both turned around and flipped over. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna be. Silly silhouette. Any puzzle can be solved with application of logic. I don't think she's wrong, but it depends on the kind of logic you apply. A stirring performance, Miss Perfetti. Most exceptional. Now, if you'll excuse me... Why does it keep appearing and then disappearing again like that? Hmm. Isn't that a... Look at this, Emiliana. You wouldn't expect something like this to be hidden on the bushes, would you? A projector? Yes! Any image projected from here would look enormous on the wall. So the wraith at the window is just a piece of cinematic trickery? Well, first the so-called ghost in the garden and now the wraith at the window. Both of them were set up by someone. Which means there are many foretales of supernatural phenomena. May well turn out to be fake too. Yes. Which one came next? It was a possessed puppet, wasn't it? Let's head to the living room and carry on the investigation there. One of his hand wing back inside and miss so on the investigations and acts of the six mysterious happenings mysterious happenings this is where the possessed puppet is supposed to have been isn't it yes the one that moved on his own accord and cackled loudly Brr. and it's in here somewhere as we speak probably do you know I can actually feel someone who is born into me good evening I trust your investigations are progressing favorably. Arrf! Gosh, I say, you did rather startle me, Wusta. You have a habit of appearing when I least expect you, Wusta. Indeed, man. I endeavor to be present at all times, yet never conspicuously, conspicuously so. It is a butler's duty. It strikes me that butlers are not, li not like ghosts. Appear out of nowhere and disappear again into thin air. No, I'm pretty sure it's this guy as well as maybe... What's his name? Alfred from Batman. But then again, the guy is working with Batman, so it makes sense. Careful, miss. He might hear you. I wish you luck with your investigation. Alright then. Let's see what we can find about this possessed puppet. Where is it, though? I'm assuming it's these things? It moved! 
the puppet here moves even though it didn't, I didn't lay upon it. Ah, it's it's alive. Or, you know, the most likely option is that it's actually one of those movable robot puppets that was puppet to yeah, one of those little robot toys that was actually made to look like a puppet or dressed to look like a puppet. Isn't it sweet? What a lovely face. Have a care, sir? Alright, I was expecting you that time. He's on his head. <laughs> I remember Miss White as a young child dotes on a very puppet when it was still bored. She would play with it through it rather like these fingers puppet like these finger puppets in fact. Oh, puppet performance. This is a puppet show with finger puppets on two hands. Wait, how the hell did she put that thing in her finger then? It's massive. Well, massive for a finger anyway. Need to move the finger puppet so that there is a blue one on each thumb and a red one on each little finger. A finger puppet can only move uh, to an empty space on the other hand. And you are not allowed to have the same color puppets next to each other in one hand. Select the finger puppet you want to move and then select the finger you want to move it to. Okay, so for example I could do this. Oh. I am so confused. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Uh, just a second as if trying, I'm, I'm even trying to figure out how the hell this puzzle works. I'm trying to figure out how the hell to move these things. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I need to move each one, for example. So why don't this one just go here? Oh, okay, because there's... A... Oh, no, wait. Okay, so it's not letting me move because there's... A... Why it didn't let me go there? Okay, so it's probably not letting me move because there's a red one here. But if I move it here... Oh, because... Oh! Ah, okay, I'm starting to figure out how this puzzle works. Uh, it's about damn time. For example, I need to move this one here. This one I can, for example, move here. And then this one, this red one goes here. This yellow one goes here. This pink one can go here. This blue one can go here. This red one goes here. This blue one goes here. This blue one can go here. This pink one can go here. And this red one... Oh, okay, 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 no, no. Yeah, no, no. Because I need to first move this guy here. Because again, they can only switch hands. You go here. You go... Oh. Okay. I'm a bit confused, but I'm starting to get it. Then you can go here. Then you go here and solve. Yeah. Now that this kind of a puzzle. Perhaps. Thank goodness I got that right. Honestly, the biggest challenge of that puzzle was figuring out how it works. So instead of that, it was not that difficult. You did it, the finger purpose looked pretty pleased too. There is more than one way to solve this one. It's possible to do 12 moves, so give it a go. I don't even know how many moves I did it. I see, Lady Layton is blessed not only with exceptional puzzle solving abilities, but, an, but also an exceptional puzzle solving assistant. Thank you, Wooster. I do my utmost to be a worthy member of the Layton Detective Agency. In fact, Miss, I think I have discovered something important. Yes, Ernest, what is it? Look here, there's some sort of device inside the puppet. So there is! You switched that one out pretty quickly, Pinstripe. 
I was thinking to myself that a puppet's movement looks rather mechanical somehow, you see? Yes, I will explain how the puppet was able to move without anybody touching it. Like I said, it was something like that. So this is just a wind-up though? Hmm. I really don't see what all the fuss is about here. Why are people so scared of these obviously childish pranks? Uh, I'm sorry, weren't you also terrified of them? Says the one who was scouting behind a chair until a few moments ago. What does it matter with your dog, Catriel? Why does she always bark at me like that? Yes, well, there are only three of the six White House horror stories left now. Next, it was, um, the sealed cellar, miss. We have to find the way down there. A cellar, sir? I have been served here at the White Resident for a considerable number of years, but not once have I heard a mention of a cellar, sir. Nor have I seen evidence of one. Did you think old terror eyes would let us down here? There. Looks like we'll have to sniff out the entrance ourselves. I don't think that it will be easy to find. After all, it's called the sealed cellar. So this is going to be fun. Come along, let's start looking. Okay, so... There. Was that puppet? Is the fireplace not in use? Indeed, man. Miss White tells me she is most comfortable when there is something of a chill in the air. Hmm, I see. An in use fireplace. The perfect place for a hidden se for a hidden secrets, I say. So would I. I just haven't voiced it yet. Stop stealing my thunder. Oh really? You are thinking the same thing, Emiliana? Naturally. Behind a resident of some considerable size, there are one or two, or three or four rooms that remain unoccupied. Three or four? And I don't even, and I don't even have a kennel! The late Mr. White once posed, posed a most interesting conundrum about an unopened room, in fact. Oh, this one seems to be easy. But also, yeah, the instance it showed the fireplace, my mind is clicked. That's probably it, because let's be honest, everything is hidden under a, a fireplace. This is a closed room that no one ever enters. However, one year has passed and it seems that something in the room has changed. What is it? Ah, okay, so that's so it's like that. Eventually. Actually, yeah, I think it is a water. Because water evaporates over time, right? Well, if it's a hot day, and I imagine if it was an year, summer would eventually come and it would all evaporate, make the room very moist. Mm, this should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Yeah, that's another difficult one. You need to use a bit of logic or. Stretch out logic. You did it! The thing that has changed was a water ju jug at the back of the door, of the room. One year on the water inside it has evaporated. It begs the question of who could have put the water in the room that no one ever enters in the first place. Tom Yum. I mean, it has to be good, it already has Yum in the name. A most extraordinary performance that is somewhat taxing. No, it's not. It's a surprisingly simple one. But yeah, I some more gadgets. It's used some symbols of logic. It's somewhat taxing puzzle. Well, every puzzle has a solution, Wooster. This is every mystery has an explanation. Look at the fireplace. A passage they open leaving me underground. How did I not notice that? I guess we were to engage in the puzzle. Indeed, I am most surprised. Well, it looks like in our way to the sealed cellar. Let's see what's down there. Would the lantern perhaps be of assistance, ma'am? I carry it with me when I'm patrolling the grounds at night. Thank you, Wooster. Shall we then, Emiliana? Sorry? Go! 
Go to all there, you mean? Of course! We can't investigate the cell from here, can we? If you're scared, you can wait here with Wooster. Just the two of you. Let me through! There could be clues on there that one of the detectives like you would miss. <laughs> well, we wouldn't want that, would we? In you go then. Stop pushing me, Catriel! <laughs> okay. That was like a kind of fun good line. Oh no, it's this one. That was that kind of funny. Seal cellar. Sorry, I kind of zoned down there. 